Hello everyone, this is a psychic prediction for February 2024. So I was actually taking a shower when I had this vision come over me of Joe Biden and tanks rolling in and I was trying to tune into what this is about and I was getting the sense that it was not in the United States or not in um, South America, but more so Europe, Asia, and then I got the word Yemen. And I looked it up on the map and I discovered that Yemen is right next to um, part of the ocean where um, there's there's a battle over the trade route in that area. So then I decided to dig a little deeper and I did a little bit more reading into Joe Biden and I was seeing him for the month of February being very confident. Um, I was getting the sense that he is getting resources. This, this situation involving Yemen and rolling in tanks like US tanks is how it came to me and that you know I'm not sure if that literally means that there will literally be US tanks on the ground in Yemen or if it just means more symbolically that there's going to be more military presence in Yemen but either way that's what I was getting however you want to interpret that um, I also basically saw him pressing a button and like explosions going off and just like blowing up Yemen. I got the sense that it's just destroying Yemen basically for um, February. Um, again, linked to getting resources, which would make sense with the trade route. Um, I saw a vision of him being handed a diamond and also a crown. I was getting the sense that this is a very positive month for Joe Biden overall. He is getting what he wants, basically. Um, and when I tune into Joe Biden, I get that he does want the US to do well, but at the same time he is being manipulated by international corporate powers. Um, I speak a lot more about this on my Patreon page. If you want to check that out, you can. It's free to join for one week. So regarding this, it is kind of ironic because I've had recently people commenting on my videos saying, oh, you're just saying the news that's already happened, which is definitely not the case. However, in this situation, I did look up Yemen and news, those two words, and specifically found that this already did happen where literally, well maybe not exactly what I'm reading for the full month, but there's a little bit of news indicating that that's the direction things are going already, which was that there's a bunch of um, bases in Yemen that have been, um, I think, bombed or attacked or something like that in relation to there being this battle over that trade route. So basically what this indicates to me is that this is going to be a big situation and I believe it's going to intensify as the month goes on and it's going to be a win for Joe Biden. Now regarding the fact that um, you know, on some level you could argue that I'm saying what's already happened, sure you could use that argument if you want in this case, but I would like to point out that on June 29th of 2023 I actually predicted the scenario playing out before it even was a thing. I was saying there was when I was reading Joe Biden on June 29th 2023 I was saying there's drama um, big drama and it was a bad month for Joe Biden and that there was ships coordinating movement and um, some sort of drama around these this, these ships and there there could be some sort of battle around Saudi Arabia 
um, which is Yemen and Saudi Arabia right next to each other. I didn't know that until I looked it up on a map. I'm not the greatest at geography, but um, regardless, those are two different situations where I mentioned two countries that border each other. And so it wasn't directly Saudi Arabia, but it was within that general area. And then it turns out that, of course, that was a big deal. It wasn't such a big deal the month of um, that I was doing the prediction for, which I will leave the link below so you can watch that prediction video if you want. Um, that was recorded June 29th, 2023. And um, it seems to be, and I was saying that it seems to be a big deal um, and then it kind of happened and went away and it wasn't a big deal, but it has slowly become a big deal over time. And it's obviously becoming a bigger deal moving into February. <clears throat> so more about that. So Joe Biden is wanting to control the, the trade route the best that he can. Um, because he needs it and that's what I was reading that there's a need for this because he is losing well the US which he's representing in this case is losing trade elsewhere and so this is kind of like they they have to control something somewhere so they're putting all of their focus and emphasis into this specific trade route uh, right below Yemen so they're, they're trying to establish dominance in order to compete with the rest of the world because um, the, the, I, I'm not sure what countries, I, I, it wasn't showing up in the reading specifically, but I would assume based off of my logical mind, I would assume that it would be Russia and China. Of course, I wasn't reading that. That's just my personal thoughts and personal opinion. But um, that's what I would assume is what he's competing with here. Um, so, as I said, this is one of the few places um, that the U.S. is still able to control, and moving forward into the future, I believe that, that was kind of ominous how the lighting changed, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but <laughs> as I was talking about the, the the sun went away outside but anyways um, this is moving into the future the US is going to control that area as basically one of the only trade routes that are controlled by the US is what I was getting so also tuning into Joe Biden more just on a personal uh, level tuning into him not so much related to what's going on in the world but just into him specifically for the month of February of 2024 um, he seems more interested in military application and I was seeing a, a him like drawing a this is symbolic I don't think he's literally drawing an airplane but it was as if he was drawing out a sketch of a new type of airplane so I'm getting the sense that um, he may be involved in, in some sort of development of technology like military aircraft. So he is working with international corporate powers based in Europe that are using his power in exchange for... Um, boosting the US power in the sense that they're kind of working together and kind of boosting each other's power by cooperating with each other. This is what Joe Biden believes to be the best option is what I was getting. This is however transferring a lot of power out of the US into a network of international corporate power that uh, controls the technology of the world and therefore controls those who are dependent on that technology and this has not become a major issue yet but it is all in the works and so that will become more apparent as time moves along but I also believe that there will be a counter resistance to that so I wouldn't 
get to doomsday um, thinking about that sort of situation. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's definitely something to worry about, but it's also, um, you know, not this apocalyptic doomsday scenario either, I don't believe. So, um, however, these international corporate, this, this like network of intermingled international corporate powers want to be more in control of resources is what I'm getting. And so that's why they are working with Joe Biden to have some sort of hand in the trade routes around Yemen with the US being in charge of it, of course. So moving on to Bitcoin. So for Bitcoin, February seems like a good month overall. I was getting the sense that uh, it could go up to near 49k around the 12th of February. That's an approximation, so not exactly the 12th, but somewhere around there. 49k is what I'm getting. Uh, and then it's going to drop back down to about where it is now and go back up again around the 25th of the month. So the 12th and the 25th. It could go up on, on the 12th, come back down, and then go back up on the 25th. It, the 25th around that time period actually seems like it could be really good. Um, and it doesn't come down as much that time. So overall, it seems like it ends at a higher level than the month begins at. And I'm sorry, it is already February 1st. I usually do these readings a couple days in advance, but I was pretty busy, so I wasn't able to get to it until today, which is February 1st now. So um, there's lots of volatility between 40 and 50K. Um, ends on a good note before it appears to me that it's going to be blasting off into March next month and that could be pretty good however it's also going to be a pretty bad month because it seems that it's going to go up a bunch and then it's going to come down pretty hard too and so that could potentially be a people may refer to that as crashing um whether or not it's technically considered a crash i don't know but it does look like you could potentially call it a crash I will be talking much more in detail about this on my Patreon page, so feel free to join my Patreon page. It's actually free to join for one week. You can also support my work by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing if you have not yet. I always appreciate that. So moving on to the rest of the news around the world for February. I'm seeing a stalemate in Ukraine. Not really too much going on there. Continued bloodshed in Gaza is what I was getting. Um, but it does seem that the, the violence, the bloodshed in Gaza seems to start fading away more so around March and afterwards. Uh, not that it's gonna go away, but it's just gonna be not quite as intense Overall is the gist that I was getting so Randomly I saw Benjamin Netanyahu who is the Prime Minister of, of Israel and I was getting the sense that he's going to have more support from the US and he will benefit from that in some way I don't know if this is going to be something that's political that's really big in the news or just something that's kind of under the table but regardless that's what I was getting in, re in regards to the energy of the earth and just what's going on it seemed kind of challenging for a lot of those places that we already understand such as Israel Gaza Ukraine etc but the US um, and most of the rest of the world seems to actually have a very positive energy for people. Um, so it does seem like a good month overall. This is, however, a month of change. So this month is good for making big changes, actually. Some months I would say the opposite. I know this sounds cliche, but you have to realize 
I say the complete opposite sometimes for different months, but this month is good for big changes. Also a great month for cranking out work. Just whatever you need to get done, just getting things done, this is an excellent month for just cranking things out, just whatever it is. Um, focusing on the end goal is also very uh, beneficial for this month. That is a good way. I feel like everybody in February is going to be hardwired to just think of the end goal. And that is what you need to do to be successful in this month. Uh, taking a leap of faith can also pay off for February. So what is bad for February? Bringing up old arguments because the energy has been shifting as I've been speaking about for the past four months or so. It's been a big deal. Um, and things that are, well, the present, it, well, things that used to be relevant are no longer relevant. And so bringing up old arguments or trying to m prove something or whatever, it may have been relevant in the past, but it's no longer relevant with these new frequencies of the earth and new changes taking place on the earth and the new consciousness that is moving in and taking control. So, you know, that's what showed up when I asked what was bad for the month. Another thing that I saw was uh, someone putting out a candle it was like they're sitting there with a candle in a dark room and they put the candle out and it just goes completely pitch black. And I was getting the sense that this represents being by yourself, first of all, and kind of cutting yourself off from all the external world. And strangely enough, February does not seem like the ideal month for doing inner work, or you could say, well, I don't want to say shadow work because I think shadow work can be dealt with by confronting situations directly. But what I mean by inner work and what I would mean by shadow work if I was to include that in this would be more so being by yourself, like turning the lights out, being completely in darkness by yourself, your uh, sensor, your there's no like sensory deprivation basically you know not having the external stimuli that is not um, what is supported for February energetically is what I was getting at least connecting with other people externally is more important for this month that just seems to be how the energy is hardwired if you or wired if you want to call it that um, so that seems like a big deal uh, to, to get out there, make things happen, and um, you know, crank out the results that you want, even if you have to sacrifice a little bit of, I don't know what, there may be something you may need to sacrifice is what I'm getting in order to crank things out and um, push through things. Okay, so um, we are energetic reacting to a lot of these energy shifts that I've been talking about previously since October of 2023 or before that I was talking definitely before that but that's kind of where it kind of hit hard I would say um, and so because of that this kind of this uh, built up energy that needs to be channeled into something to create a change. And so now is the time to take action to change things in your life. Along with that is a lot of nervous system um, nervousness. And so that can be something to, to want to be aware of that your nervous system could use some nourishing. You may want more nourishing foods. You may want more antioxidants, things of that in your diet. But um, specifically something that I was discovering yesterday in meditation actually was that what my body was wanting was a different 
vibration of uh, healing gold energy which is usually what I work with to heal myself or heal others if I'm doing an energy healing and what I was getting was that specifically focusing on this well usually a lot of the times people who focus or do healings with this golden energy will use it at the frequency of forgiveness or the frequency of um, kind of like a higher frequency or pushing like through things to more of a spiritual level but what I was finding was that for this energy that we're moving into for February is very much so beneficial to work with a comfort specific gold energy focused on comfort so if you do meditation and if you do energy healing you know you can do whatever you want whatever is feels good for you but that's something that was showing up for me that felt really good for me and I feel that that is really important and beneficial for um, the month of February to really focus on this comfort comforting the nervous system and a little bit of this sedative and slightly indulgent energy that is just comfortable um, to the nervous system so that the body can kind of just take it easy and heal and I, when I say the body I, I mean the body and the mind because for me those are connected and then the spirit is kind of beyond the mind um, but the spirit could also use a healing as well of course so anyways um, when I asked more about I usually ask for advice but instead of advice what came through was the word of the month is the word charm which kind of resonates with what I was just talking about the gold energy and the vibration of comfort but the word charm and I was getting that the advice would be do what brings charm to your life and again this kind of has to do with um, cranking things out and having your mind focused on the end result well what is the end result it's usually something that feels charming to you so those things that just feel like they bring charm to your life um, focus on them crank out whatever you need to bring that more into reality and don't be timid or afraid to make that happen this month this is a good month for doing that it's important to um, help funnel the new vibrations the new frequencies of the earth that we are all starting to resonate at it's, it's important to, to funnel those into a direction that is more magical and charming for the future to bring that into the future and what I was getting is that what we kind of manifest if you want to use that word now through that sort of charming energy that golden vibration of comfort will manifest for the next three years or so before we are ready for a new assessment of where we're heading and then I feel that things will be shifting a bunch again and that will kind of no longer be relevant and something new that's more relevant will show up around that time but for now we're heading into a, a, a shift that's taking place and that's um, this is a good month to kind of set that energy and that intention up for what you want and kind of forge the path forward to get that initial direction at least okay so that's what I have for February 2024 um, of course you can always support my work I have a patreon page you can join for one week for free uh, the link will be below the video there's also a Kofi account so if you do want to end up paying for it at some point then the Kofi account may um, be more appropriate if you don't live in the US and you have um, payment issues that may not work with 
PayPal. I just want to mention that. I have Kofi too, which is just the same information, copy and pasted there. That's the same thing on Patreon. I also do private readings. Um, I do readings as low as $35 for a question that is a written reading through text. I also have live readings. Those are $130 for one hour, um, one on one. Uh, you can find out more about this information at psychictai.com. That's psychic, T A I, all one word, dot com. That's all I have to say. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Also, give this thumbs give this a thumbs up if you have not yet. All right, thanks. Bye.